I am here tonight to talk about the issue of research into what may be the greatest medical breakthrough in our or any lifetime. The use of embryonic stem cells, cells created using the material of our own bodies to cure a wide range of fatal and debilitating illnesses. I just don't see how we can turn our backs on this. There are so many diseases that can be cured or at least helped. We've lost so much time already and I just really can't bear to lose any more. Their involvement, uh, I think, took uh, substantial courage, particularly in the current uh, political climate. I think I have to say that. It takes no courage at all, as far as I can say. The people who have courage are caregivers and people who actually are suffering with these diseases who are doing the same thing, who are speaking out about this. The people who are actually doing the research, of course, are involved, and, and they're, they're at the front lines of this. They're the real heroes here, pushing the pushing the ball forward down the field, uh, as it were, and I happen to be in a position that uh, I'm able to speak out uh, about something that's very important and I feel very fortunate. Medical research and science are under assault as never before. There is a clash now uh, between those that would hold it back and those that are urgent to see medical research find answers to relieve serious and life-threatening uh, conditions. Well, there are a lot of people that can be helped by, by this. I mean, that was immediately apparent when embryonic stem cells were first isolated in 1998. Uh, there's an almost magical property to these cells, and I don't know how anybody could uh, fail to be curious about these things and, and want to do the research necessary to see how far we can go with this. This has the potential to revolutionize medicine. Stem cell research has just become a very hot political issue in the last few years. The United States is being held back by a failed policy that simply isn't working for the benefit of science and the benefit of patients. That's why groups like ASH need to make their voices heard and we're organized to carry the message to the Congress. So we have a government policy group that meets regularly and, uh, and goes to the Congress and tries to educate the Congress about these issues. We have a grassroots group which organizes both to write letters to the Congress, to visit congressmen, and to educate Congress about these issues. Just do it. Get out there and speak up. Seventy percent of the American public is for federal funding of embryonic stem cell research. People know that this is the right thing to do. The voices of the members of ASH need to be raised, need to be heard, because legislators are waiting for some guidance. ASH is known very well on Capitol Hill, on both sides of the aisle. They're known for being advocates for patients and having a fierce uh, passion for medical research and all that it can bring. And when they are on Capitol Hill, uh, they're able to mobilize support for important areas of stem cell research. Politics should not stand in the way of science, and politics should certainly not stand in the way of helping people. Uh, this is going to happen one way or the other. The research will go forward, and if the potential is realized, medicine will be revolutionized by this. And the more voices, the better. Write your congressman.